Coming up to the stage, this guy, very funny. He's a writer on uh, on uh, this new FX show called Totally Biased with W. Kamau Bell. Yes. He has a brand new CD out, and you can look for that one as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up right now for Nato Green. I have no comment on Menzies. Um, <laughs> So, uh, there's a lot of people in here, everybody. Uh, it's pretty crowded. It's a little bit uncomfortable in the back for the comics. Uh, I will be disappointed if you guys don't turn this into Occupy the Purple Onion before the night is over. Uh, I don't know if we told you this part. Uh, like Occupy, the key to winning a revolution is not to have an end time. So, nobody's going home. Uh, we're all just going to you lock our heads to the stuff uh, until we get pepper sprayed. And so... Are you in? Good. Um, I, uh, I've traveled around the country a lot uh, in the last year or so, and I'm a, I'm a San Francisco native. Uh, thank you. Yeah, there's a, there's a few of us left. Uh, I'm also uh, not uh, uh, gay, but I have ramekins. I was uh, raised among gays. I'm the Tarzan of gays. I'm familiar with their ways and customs. Uh, I come from a left-wing Jewish intellectual family. As part of my bar mitzvah preparation, I took the bar exam. Uh, <laughs> other kids' parents read to them from Curious George and the Little Engine That Could. My parents read to me from the autobiography of Malcolm X. So, uh, and I don't know if you realize this, but, and you hear this in the Republican primaries, people think that there is a war for America underway, that, that you hear them saying, we're losing our America, we have to take America back. And I just want to say, uh, as a left-wing Jew comic from San Francisco, if you know any of those people, please tell them from me, uh, fuck your America, and <laughs> welcome to my America, which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> we have gays and people of color and books. Uh, <laughs> And we say deviant, subversive things like, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> and would you like some prosciutto ice cream with that? Because <laughs> we have that in my American, it's delicious and you should try it uh, before you judge a motherfucker. So, uh, you know, like out there, before I went on tour last year, I prepared the way you would expect someone of my uh, uh, station in life to prepare by watching white supremacist videos on YouTube and uh, I don't know if you realize this out there they are preparing for war uh, there are people fucking learning how to shoot machine guns and live on eating ants and we are not ready for that shit do you understand <laughs> they're preparing for war we are preparing for brunch do you see the <laughs> distinction that I'm trying to draw for you uh, we are not going to be able to defend freedom and democracy and tolerance with sun salutations. Uh, <laughs> when they come marching into the cities to get us with their burning torches and Uzis from fucking Tracy, where they make them, uh, <laughs> we can't be like, hang on, I need to limber up. You can't kick down a door with Uggs. I <laughs> hope you all realize that Warrior One is not an actual combat position. You can't just... But we all have our part to play. I'm very clear that I don't have a lot of survival skills for when, for, when, for when the great battle for civilization comes. I'm just trying to fatten myself so that my kids have something to eat. Uh, I think of myself as sort of a foie daddy, if you can uh, imagine that. Is that sad? It's not force feeding, though. Uh, I let them strap me into the thing before they stuff me with cranes. So, um, anyway, uh, so, it's uh, election year, uh, Mitt Romney, wow. Um, he, by, I love this, the, the poll that, uh, he's, uh, that Obama's leading him among black voters 94 to zero, zero. Uh, 94 to zero, that means Condoleezza Rice is undecided. Uh, that is not good for Mitt Romney. Uh, that means that there are fewer black people in the United States that like Mitt Romney than like Kenny G camping or apartheid. Uh, <laughs> The margin of error on that poll is plus or minus 3%. Uh, 
That means that it's statistically possible that negative 3% of black people in the United States like Mitt Romney. Uh, out of an American black population of approximately 30 million, negative 3% works out to about um, over a million black people who hate Mitt Romney who don't exist yet. Uh, and that is really bad. Um, I do, uh, I have a new CD out. It's called the NATO Green Party. Uh, uh, it's available on iTunes and Amazon. I have a few of them here if you'd like to buy them after the show or you want my children to starve. So uh, bear that in mind. Uh, and, uh, and if you like me, I'm on Twitter. And if you didn't, I'm on MySpace. Good night, everybody. Yeah.